went balls deep on TLRY slash AFA FDs yesterday. Not my finest moment. At least you used to have money, and nobody can ever take that away from you. That's a very Mitch Hedberg kind of joke. I used to lose money on FDs. I still do, but I used to, too. FDs are great when you're hungry and want to lose 2000 of something. Stocks are great, they go up and down. Except mine just seem to go down and down. When they finally do go up I don't even care anymore. Edit, thanks for the awards and upvotes. I do care about that. The depressing thing about tennis bets is that no matter how good I get, I'll never be as good as a Wall Street. Because you're missing the one thing Wall Street has. Insider trading. F man, I miss him. I order the club sandwich all the time, but I'm not even a member, man. I'll take a frozen banana now and enjoy it later. My friend told me I had to sleep on the floor. Damn, gravity wins again. I really wanted to sleep on the wall. I got a parrot, and that parrot could talk, but it didn't say I'm hungry, so it died. Top 5 stand-upper in my opinion. Can't knock him. I used to miss him. I mean I still do but I used to also. I don't have a girlfriend, I just know a girl who would be really mad if she heard me say that. Have you found the secret to making Sprite? Lemon and lime isn't cutting it. Hey, want some more homemade Sprite? Not until you figure out what the F else is in it. Doi frames, diamond hands of two. Doi frames. That might be even worse than the actual spelling, do frame. I used to have money, thanks GME gang, still holding though. I was told the squeeze hasn't been squoezed. I'd rather have the money. Laughing out loud. That 67 cents in after hours goes a long way. And we found Jack Ma. It's just his lookalike, Jack Pa. Baba short it is. This comment is perfect. That's the ah bounce on these same weed stocks. Listen to the people here. You buy one contract of 0.10 of some obscure stock. Pray that it goes up and repeat the process till you can get it all back. Easy peasy. You welcome bro. Why would you do that when you could buy like 1000 shares of some stock that is 0.0001 hope is for people without a plan. Then two years later when it jumps 200%, don't forget to post I had 100%, faith in this company and you guys should have listened to an intelligent person like me. The only plan that can't go wrong is no plan at all. Hey at least you're a green butthole. Good thing he didn't sell or he would have missed out. Lots of pump and dump these days. Even $t.s.l.a. Isn't looking too good. So basically just buy puts when something really starts getting talked about on here and make gains along with the big boys when they manipulate the stock. Literally this is how you actually make money with this effing sub. Laughing my butt off. That's been the play for some time it seems, watch what WSB is pumping and bet against whatever they're doing. As if people keep forgetting the line by the rumor, sell the news. At 8 mil retards, this place sadly is no longer part of the rumor mill. That or just have an exit strategy. What's an exit strategy? When you are about to screenshot your gains, it might be smart to sell a portion. This might be the best not financial advice I've seen on this sub. If you're buying a stock that's already mooning, you're not making a bet, you're following the herd. Sometimes to greater profits, other times off a cliff. If you followed the advice of buying GME every time it dips below 20, you would be up 150%, even now. If you buy when the shoe shine boy starts giving stock advice, you're more than likely to lose. Inversing WSB has been a tried and true way to make money. But now that inversing WSB is being mentioned every 10 minutes, the play is now to inverse the people betting against WSB since WSB will now be betting against itself and oh man my head hurts now. It's not that easy. 
the volatility is priced in, and once it gets crushed you will still lose money on the put. I had to scroll deep and tap 6 more replies to find one single person mentioning this rather critical point. If you really want to profit on the dump after a pump, you need to sell calls. That way you are collecting premium that is inflated by 4, and once the world calms down a little, you only need the 4th to drop and you're making money, even if the underlying stays up. Naked calls are not for the faint-hearted, however, and one should hedge them in a combo in order to put a cap on that unlimited risk potential. It's called buy the rumor sell the news. A. Yes. It's called buy the rumor, sell the news. B. The price coming down is not them manipulating the market it is just the market it's just what pump and dump does. When there are key numbers, that support the rise, it's called investment. I think ironically after the dump is now a good time to buy. It almost sounds like the market has corrected the WSB inefficiency. Just wait until those Redditors put up their own private microwave network to communicate directly with their rented servers right on Wall Street. I am an RF engineer, we can get so many memes down that bad boy. We don't need down to the millisecond updates on stocks. What we need is to trade 24 hours behind the market to confuse them. We will all hype the crap out of X company and watch as hedge funds dump and offload their crap as fast as possible. Then the following day when they're sat there scratching their asses wondering why hasn't WSB hit yet we hold. Just wait a few more hours and then buy the crap out of everything. Pump that price up and as the hedgies try to jump and we sell the ever living F out of our shares dumping the entire bag back on the hedge funds at a much higher price than they started. Sooner or later he'll be green and retired. Enjoy. Say it with me, I'm green and I'm retired. I'm green, and I'm retired. You misspelled retarded. Is that surprising? Talk about sooner, this looks like the state of Oklahoma. Hey at least Jack Ma is okay. He's playing golf in a re-education camp. Pretty sure that means they are beating him with a three wood. Nah, you got to go with the irons. Jack Ma, cock and balls. Aside from losing money this is what I come here for. FOMO is one hell of a drug. Indeed. No, he's just doing the sensible strategy that is buy high, sell low. He's doing his part to stimulate the economy. I can't find them on the ticker. I told myself TLRY and AFA would probably peak over the next few days and to get my puts ready, woke up this morning to find them already demolished and I feel like puking. Won't hesitate next time. I was anticipating a crash by Friday or Tuesday at the latest since the weed stonks really only started gaining traction on WSB and media attention yesterday. I wasn't expecting the whales to dump it all at market open. Noob Q does this mean now might be a good time to buy in? While the front page guy is half right, the idea that weed stocks won't ever go back up is kind of silly. Even if the Dems don't move forward in legalizing it in the next year and a half, the global market keeps growing and states continue to legalize it. There's still room for growth. This is exactly why I got in. It can go down, but it'll definitely come back up. The people saying not to get in are short-term players it seems. I'm assuming this entire sub is this way considering the name dot I'm a noob to. No. The mistake people are making is buying a stock because it's good. Buy because it's 10 and you think it's worth 20. Work out your entry and exit strategy. Have an idea of your potential gains. Even the most degenerate gambler at least checks the odds first. Because it's good. You mean because it's cheap? It wouldn't be a mistake to buy it because it's good. Maybe they mean because it's a good stock. I'm seeing a lot of reactive purchasing happening here which isn't the way to make money. It's a good way to lose money though. Buying good stock to me means buying stock in a company that you think is slash will do well. I have been buying weed stock as well but certainly not in AFA or any of the other groups I'm seeing discussed here. I specifically went with brands I am aware of and researched them to see how they are doing and how they started. I'm also not expecting immediate gains either. Weed stock is a long-term market in my eyes. 
We have years until it even starts to really get rolling because you still need states to legalize even if it's federally decriminalized. I don't expect to cash out on any of my weed stocks for a few years at least. Edit, keep in mind I am not an investor. I feel for the GME crap and bought one share at $233. I am investing in weed because I have an interest in it and know the companies and watch them. WSB has got me into stock trading but I'm going to be a little more careful about my bets and I advise you all to do the same. Don't get on WSB to tell you who to invest in. If you're betting on this sub then you're already too late. I thought people were buying it because the more act was being reviewed by the Senate Finance Committee? It decriminalizes cannabis nationally. If you're reading about it on the front page, it's probably too late. The whales are getting greedier and greedier. And Reddit traders will take the fall for causing the pump and dump as always. Well, these are textbook pumps by Reddit, except they're getting pumped further and then dumped by HFs. The amount of money they're making off retail choosing a new bizarre stock to pump to overvalued levels is hilarious. Everyone in the market is in it for one reason, to make money. It was at $72 pre-market and immediately crashed down to $47 when it opened. I mean I had feeling it was going to crash soon, but not that soon, damn, skull. Same. I was like, I effed up on AMC, but at least that took like 3 days. I'll give it one more day. F. SNDL hitting $4.78 pre-market at one point made me decide to dump that on opening. Kept the AFA and CRON so I'm down 20%, 25%, on the year. I really didn't expect a crash in literally one day like WTF man. Did you learn nothing from GME? Anything is possible. Laughing my butt off. I saw TLRY already down 40%. Still leg it into a bunch of debit spreads going both ways, my new favorite play on volatile stocks, and am up 62%, and with the setup I ended up with, pretty much going to be about that give or take 10 to 15%, tomorrow. But damn, I started with puts and if I'd had those to start the morning, yay I'd have chased those with protective calls that would've all gotten obliterated, but would've probably gotten 400 to 500%, out of this instead of what I got. Can't complain though, I imagine a lot of dudes here got straight murdered today. Are you me? I felt the same way about my calls. Think of the tax breaks you'll have next year. Was already max for the next decade from GME. 3k a year for life. Worst gang ever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.